Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the PJ National Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're discussing the short game, we're talking pitching and we're going to discuss three common myths that I hear golfers talking about and these may well be holding you back from playing your best golf. In the corner of the screen you should have the details for my social media accounts so if you don't already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So we're talking about pitch shots, relatively short pitch shots from you know 20-30 yards and when I coach golfers at the academy and we talk about short game, there's often some commonalities about what I hear people tell me and often these are the things that are holding them back and stopping them hitting better pitch shots with more control, more spin and ultimately helping them get up and down a little bit more often. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the idea that to get more spin on my golf ball I need to hit down on the golf ball. So this is certainly possibly the most common one I hear, that golfers believe that the more they hit down, the more spin they're going to produce. And it's just not true. What we know is we have what we call spin loft. Spin loft is the difference between the loft that the golf club has got at impact, the angle of attack, and the difference between the two. So if my attack angle was zero, as in I'm not hitting down, I'm not hitting up, so it's zero, and I have loft on the golf club of 50 degrees at impact, the difference between those two angles is 50. That's going to give me a certain amount of spin. Now, if I hit down on the golf ball by 5 degrees, so that's 5 degrees down, and my golf club has 45 degrees of loft, pointing upwards, the difference between those two is 50. That golf ball will spin exactly the same amount as the first example because the difference between the two was 50. Now in actual reality the second one will probably release more because all I've done is I've taken that angle and I've tipped it more down towards the ground so the ball's going to take off lower, it's going to have a lower flight, it's going to have a firmer first bounce, it's probably actually going to release out more. So just hitting down on the golf ball will not give you more spin. What it might do is actually send that ball in a little lower than you want and it might be more difficult to control how much that ball rolls. So Playing the ball back and feeling that you drive the club down into the ground is certainly not going to help you check that ball up on the green. So, the second thing we're going to talk about is that having the ball back and the hands forward is a great way to improve the strike on your short shots. And again, this simply isn't true. If I, if I put the ball back, have my hands forward, two things often happen. Either my upper body bends too much to the right to get my sort of eyes back over the ball so the ball looks kind of more normal to me. What that does, it creates a lot too much bend in my right hand side and I really from here struggle to get this golf club delivered to the ground consistently. Or we keep the sternum in front of the ball, we have the hands forward and the ball back and that does produce this steeper approach. Very often what happens when we have this steeper approach is that if we hit the ground slightly before the ball we get a ball which goes about five yards in front of us and over time what you'll start to recognize as the golfer is hitting the ground is suddenly not a good thing to the point where you will then be the kind of golfer who is hitting these pitch shots ball back hands forward and that you're trying to then pull away from the ground because you've got a history of hitting the ground and the ball goes five yards in front of you so when we have the ball back and the hands forward and we believe this is going to help us strike it, what it does is it steepens the approach too much to the point where most golfers try and back out of that shot in order to miss the ground. And then we really have difficulty controlling our levels, we really have difficulty controlling the low point, and ultimately we have difficulty controlling the strike, which was really the whole point of trying to put the ball back in the hands forward to guarantee the strike. So, talking about the first two points together, we are much better to play these shots with the ball in the middle of the stance, under your buttons on your shirt or the zip, so pretty much in the sternum, with the handle about neutral. What that's going to do is it's going to give me a nice shallow approach. I'm going to get maximum spin, but I'm going to get a nice flight. At no point does the club ever feel like it's going to career straight into the ground, and so I haven't got to pull up out the way of it. And I can start to use the bounce of the golf club, which is a much, much better way to play these shots. So the first two we can sort of put together and understand that the setup is really 
quite important in controlling those things. The last myth that I hear about the short game is that wrist action is bad. Lots of golfers are trying to play these shots without any wrist action because they've been told that the worst thing to do with a pitch shot is to get flippy with the wrists. Now, absolutely, this is not a good shot, what I just demonstrated. But the reason that was not a good shot is because my pivot stalled through the impact area. Good pitchers of the golf ball, I'm not going to say they use the wrists, but what they will do is they will have very good control of the wrists. They will be able to hit shots where they try and keep the wrists a little bit more passive. But they will also be able to hit shots where they feel that they can use the wrists a little bit more. The difference being, they will always control the pivot very, very well. So, you do not have to take the wrists out of your pitch shot. What you have to do to be very, very good at the short game is learn how to control them and learn what that's going to do to the shot when you actually do let these wrists work a little bit more. You're probably going to find that you get a slightly higher ball flight. You're going to get a little bit less distance. You're going to get a steeper drop angle. If that's what is required, then absolutely fine. So, let me hit a shot. And I'm just going to do this almost a little bit excessive with the wrists, but you will see that I've actually got quite a bit of wrist action, but I'm actually matching it to my pivot. And really, that is the key to hitting decent shots. It's understanding how the pivot can transport the golf club through, and then what you do with your wrists can really can control the trajectory, the spin, the rollout, the land angle, all those kind of things. So let's get a few things right in the short game. Hitting down does not create more spin. Putting the ball back and hands forward does not help you strike the ball better. And having some release or some wrist action in your pitch shot is not always a bad thing. We've just got to understand how to use them and how that can help control the trajectory of the shots. So hopefully that clears up a few ideas around the short game. Certainly, I believe that a lot of golfers are holding themselves back with what they're trying to do, so maybe the concepts aren't quite right. And hopefully that's going to clear up a few of those there for you. Thank you for watching. Hopefully helpful to you. If you did like it, please click the like button. If you've got any comments on this video or any of the videos, post those in the boxes down below. I'll do my best to respond to it as many as I can. And last thing, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. There is a link in the description box down below. Loads more videos on my channel already, and there's loads more being uploaded weekly. So just clicking that link means you won't miss any of the new content. And it's all geared around helping you to play some better golf next time you get a chance to nip out onto the golf course. Thank you again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.